There's a new woman in charge of prosecuting cases in four southern Colorado counties. Caitlin Turner officially sworn in this week as the district attorney for the 11th Judicial District in Canyon City. And News 5's Andy Cohen joins us live from the Fremont County Courthouse to introduce us to the new DA and tell us about some other changes that have already come about, Andy. Elizabeth District Attorney Caitlin Turner is going to have some immediate positions to fill. Recently, uh, Deputy District Attorney Tom Ledoux announced his resignation as well as the resignations of two other senior prosecutors, but she told us not to worry. All of the cases are going to be handled. District Attorney Caitlin Turner is ready to prosecute cases. The job of the District Attorney's Office is public safety and justice. So that's what we'll be doing in my office. The former federal attorney and Bureau of Prisons advisors was appointed by Governor Polis to fill the vacancy left by the sudden resignation last month of Molly Chilson. Her background impresses county leaders. Hopefully she'll be a great advocate for our law enforcement in the four counties because that is something that we definitely need. Chilson's departure caught a lot of people by surprise. In fact, earlier that week, we had met with Molly at the office up in Salida on a separate matter and didn't get any indication whatsoever that she was planning on resigning at all. There's been no disruption to the day to day transfer of prisoners to court. Sheriff Alan Cooper's biggest concern is the office being left shorthanded. That's just going to load up the remaining attorneys with cases. And so I'm uh, I don't want to see anything fall through the cracks. Turner said there's nothing to fear. Other district attorneys and the attorney general have all reached out to offer their help. We've got a plan for coverage and hopefully we'll get some good candidates who want to come and join us in the 11th. And Turner will serve out the rest of the term that Chilson was elected to. It expires in January 2021. And Turner told us today that she is planning to run in the November 2020 general election. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.